Uh, witnesses describe a rolling gun battle on a residential street on Detroit's west side. Tonight, one man is dead, two others injured. Let's bring in Mara McDonald, who is live at the 6th Precinct. Mara. Good evening to you, Devin. And officers here at the 6th Precinct had their hands full out on Penrod Street tonight. Crime scene tape all over the place, shell casings everywhere, multiple injuries, a fatality, and a gunman on the loose. It sounded like two guns. Shell casings and broken glass litter Penrod Street after two cars were firing at each other in what was a rolling gun battle in this residential neighborhood. They were coming down Penrod and they were bumping into each other. Once they crossed over Westfield, the one great tourist hit the uh, Explorer, slowed down, hit the gravel, spent out, hit the tree. This man who doesn't want to be ID'd saw it all. I was running through the alley. And I came back over here and I slowly walked up on the accomplice and I was asking him, was he okay? Because I didn't know if he had a gun. He said, no, I'm all right, but my friend is hit. Police tell us the driver of the Taurus was hit and died at the hospital. They say four people total were in the Taurus. The driver who was killed, two others who were shot, including the young woman you see getting into the ambulance and another young man who was not hurt. Back here alive. Now, police te are telling us, as well as witnesses, that once that Taurus went off onto the lawn that you saw there, and it was clear that the driver was in the throes of dying, that the other car that was involved in this battle hit reverse and took off. Now, witnesses say it could have been a Ford Focus. Some say it could be a Chevy Impala. One thing's for sure Detroit police are searching for it right now. We are live on Detroit's West Side. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you.